My friends, so I picked a bad day to do this. So we just finished up a three-day juice smoothie, fast cleanse, whatever, um, whatever you want to call it. We we had very simple rolls. And yes, I'm saying we. Um, this is a collaboration with, not Paisley, she's fussy down there. Um, this is a collaboration with my friend, Frances. Frances is my very best friend. If you are not new here, you know that. Um, she's amazing, she's beautiful, all the good things. Um, this collab is with her. So, make sure you go over and check her out. I know you will love her. If you love me, you will love Frances. Um, she is absolutely amazing. So make sure you go over and check out her video. Ah. Who gonna do? 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 Pin about a jelly. Pin about a jelly. Pin about a jelly. Why does it say with a baseball bat? It don't even make sense. Cranky. Um, it will be linked down below. But I was speaking to her. Um, last week was a hard week for me as far as like mentality and weight loss and dieting goes um i'm trying to focus less on the weight loss aspects of it and more on the health and just happiness i was talking to her um because she is often my my sounding board um about just everything going on and she mentioned she said maybe you need a cleanse maybe you need um you know a detox and i was thinking well that's a wonderful idea i'd already been watching i had looked into many times doing like a smoothie fast um there's one here on youtube that um i think her name is actually sophie dunn i will put her that video down below as well um but the one that she done and i had been wanting to do it just had not got to do it well you know the only obstacle was me um but speaking to francis really just lit that fire I guess you could say to start that and so me being the person I am I just decided to jump straight in and this was on maybe Thursday that we spoke about it and I said I'm gonna do it I said do you want to do it with me um you know no pressure to her if you didn't want to that's fine but I figured she might want to do it with me because she is into health and stuff like I am she's a little bit better at it than I am um and she said yes. So we done that together. The rules for us was pretty simple. We wasn't like super strict, but you just fruit and vegetable smoothies. Um, and we kept coffee because coffee. So we did keep coffee. Sophie, I think her name's Sophie. I thought her channel's like Sophieology or something. Um, she kept coffee, but she just cut out like creamer in it. So when I had mine, I always just put um, almond milk in it, or I think maybe once I did put a splash of half and half. Um, and as far as my fruit choices go, I started, we'll say that anyways, with trying to stick to lower sugars and um, things like that. So I done a lot of berries, spinach, well you'll see because I recorded everything, everything that I ate, well I guess you could say drink. Um, during the process, I recorded my weight. I'm trying, like I said, to not worry as much about the weight, but I figured it would help keep me on track and just kind of have like a little incentive at the end of it. Um, so I will include that at the end of this, but I recorded everything, everything that I put into my body, I recorded and I also recorded some of the struggles that I had to deal with. So we're going to just jump in here and I want to share you share with you everything that we had for the last three days. Alright guys, so it is currently 2.26. Um, I have not ate today. All I had today was my coffee and I think I've had about three cups of water. I've been cleaning the house, editing, being lazy if we're going to be honest i'm cutting off my head um so now i'm going to make my first smoothie of the day just going to throw some stuff in here we're going to hope for the best let's see what we're going to put all right so i know that i'm going to add some spinach i forgot to buy more greens i forgot to buy more greens. so spinach i'm going to finish off this almond milk because it's almost gone i'm hoping to make a big one we'll see how it goes 
maybe like half of this. And this is four tips, right? One, two, I don't know where I'm at. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, this is a lot. <laughs> um, I like to get this at least halfway full, drink some of it now, and then I have the rest of it for later as a snack or while I'm cooking dinner for the family, to be honest. Um, I don't know, we'll see when we get there. But, yeah, so I'm gonna make a big one and then sip on it at least for part of the day. I'm gonna use half of this grapefruit. And none of that just happened. Yep. And the rest of it will go in here for later. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Alright. Getting this cleaned up. I'm gonna get us a big straw. We're gonna try this. Um, there are recipes that I can follow. I mean, not that I'm really following the plan that I'm following, but there's recipes, but I just figured, especially for right now, when I'm not really, I just gotten started, so I don't really care. I figured we'd just throw some stuff in the blender. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. I really wish I would've added more almond milk, but for whatever reason, I didn't want to open it, the new one, even though I know I'm going to be using a lot of it the next few days. But it's whatever. It is still really good, nice and refreshing. I bet if you froze some of this into popsicles, it'd be great. But I'm going to drink this. What I don't drink of this, I would just pour into this. Um, I'm sure that the iciness of it will leave when I put it in the refrigerator, but it's not a big deal. I'll just drink it like juice, so... All right, so I will pick you back up for the next update, I guess. So far, so good, but I've just been staying really busy today. I have a lot going on. Um, so that's kind of the plan the next three days is try to stay busy as much as possible. We're working on self-control. So, that was cringy, I'm sorry. Um, have to clean my blender. Which my blender is the Instapot. It is the Instapot blender. Um, people was commenting on it, talking about it was a beast. It is really good, but it's super obnoxious because you can't put this part in water. So you you can't submerge it. You can get it wet, obviously. And it makes it kind of annoying to wash. But yeah, we're gonna go get this washed. Get this washed. I have one more chore to do. And then I'll probably go out and sit by the pool. This blender. Also, you can make soup in it. Do you see it? Maybe. It actually heats up too. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, we're going to go finish our chores. Drink our first smoothie. And yeah, right now, how are we feeling? We're feeling pretty good. I have a ton of energy. Can't say it's from the smoothies. Probably from the bad food I ate this weekend. But, yep, I am feeling pretty good right now. Hoping I can keep the momentum up. I have, I've not really told many people I'm doing this. Um, Frances knows, obviously. She's doing it with me. Um, or Mar 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 Marina knows, because we are accountability buddies in life, but right now on a weight loss health journey. And Stevie, because she's also one of my my buddies that is doing the thing with me so not the fast she's not doing the fast she's doing the health journey um so yeah i said i was getting off here five minutes ago it was actually three but now we're getting off here we'll be back
So, just a little update. It is, hold on. It is a 6.43, day one. Um, I had that huge smoothie earlier. This is the leftovers of that. To be honest, next time, the rest of the time anyways. I'm not going to save any for later because it's got a texture to it. I'm not a fan of. My hair's a mess. Um, the kids and I got in the pool. We swam for 40 minutes, I think. And it just out of nowhere thundered. Well, it did, out of nowhere. It wasn't out of nowhere. Um, it was raining lightly, but, you know, we was already wet, so who cares? But then out of nowhere, it just was a huge rumble of thunder, like, right over top of us. And so we got out fastest we've ever got out of the pool that's that's terrifying to me i do not we don't do water in the storms so um even if it thunders it had thunder once like way off and you could just barely hear it and i told the kids i said if it gets closer we have to get out they, you know they know the rules but just it quit we thought it was over and then all of a sudden just right over top of it anyways um but yeah we swam for a while that's why my hair looks like this i'm drinking this it's still raining um, I'm not gonna lie. I would really like to chew something up right now. And I don't just mean bubble gum. I mean, like, actually chew something up and swallow it. So, um, the quesadillas, I was, I was fine. And then I had the smoothie. And then I was just like, my brain was thinking, okay, this isn't food. Where's my food? Um, maybe not my brain, my mouth. And then I just went on about my day, got busy again, but then I had to feed the family. And it was hard. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to make me some quesadillas as soon as I can eat food. Probably the day after this fast start stops. Fast, cleanse, whatever. Um, so, want to finish drinking this. Hope it satisfies this feeling of need in my stomach. And then we'll go from there. I don't know. It's 6.30. I will definitely have another one of these later. Yeah. So. Alright. So it is late now. Um, I. After I had that smoothie on the porch. I've not had another smoothie. I did end up having a cup of coffee. Because I was having some pretty bad cravings. But after that coffee. I don't know. I just. I'm not even hungry no more. I have throat hunger. Um, if you've never heard of that. It's just when you're actually not hungry. But you're just craving stuff I guess. Um but i definitely have throat hunger but if i really think about it my stomach is it's content um i wouldn't say satisfied but it's content but i do want to try a little thing out i think i'm making it completely wrong but it's something i want to do i'm going to take some almond milk and some cinnamon and a thing of sweetener and warm it up in the microwave if that's quiet um so i think i'm going to do that for my nighttime snack i just made john and nolan it's about a cup maybe a cup and a half and i made john and nolan a snack plate which is something we eat quite often um and of course i knew that would trigger me so i took a couple sips of the pickle juice and now we're going to try this i just put the sweetener in here and the milk i'm going to warm it up and then add cinnamon and mix it up it might be terrible i'll let you know in a minute Okay, so we warmed this up in the microwave for about a minute. I'm going to put a sprinkle of cinnamon. Just mix it up. Alright, so here we go. It smells like a red hot. Oh, it kind of reminds me of the Mexican cocoa. Ooh, I bet if you put uh, cocoa powder in it, it'd be good. We might try that tomorrow. It's actually really good. I mean, it was not like to die for or nothing. We're going to be real here, but it smells really good. Yep. That's pretty good. I've been looking forward to this all day long. So, I'm going to drink this bus i'm gonna drink this and then go and start getting ready for bed go to bed and we will pick back up tomorrow so day one actually a success 
kind of proud of myself, not gonna lie. Um, day two coffee. Getting the show on the road before some company shows up. I got, I'm babysitting today, so. Here's the hoping that I don't ruin it from sitting and snacking. I will not ruin it. Um, my house guest just left about 15 minutes ago, I guess. I want to make me a smoothie and then we're going to go out and get in the pool because it is hot. And I'm not got any movement in today, and it is hot, so I'm gonna go out and get in the pool, do some swimming, and get some sun. So I don't know what we're gonna do today. Probably the antioxidant blend. I'm only making enough to drink right now too because I didn't like the texture of the other one. So I bought a ton of fruit. I just I expected to be starving on it. I don't. I'm eyeballing whatever. Um, I expected to be starving doing this, and I'm not. Like, it is. It's 12.50 right now. All I had this morning was half a cup of coffee because uh, the, the company got here a little bit earlier than they were supposed to by, like, 30 minutes. So, um, which I probably wouldn't have ate because I just wasn't hungry. So. I just expected to be crazy hungry and I'm not. Might be too much. It's fine. Why am I doing this? What is wrong with me today? So. Yeah, we're gonna blend this up and then drink it and then go and soak up some sun and some heat. Alright, so I wanna try this smoothie. Ignore the Cheetos. I'm not eating those, I promise. Um, I got those out for the babies. So. This one's better than yesterday. I forgot I was going to add some lemon. Or, or lemon or grapefruit to it though. Because I really like just the citrus of it. And the, I don't know. It just seems more healthy to me. I don't know. But. I might squeeze a lemon into the top of this. I might regret it. But I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to drink this. And then we're going to get in the pool. So. I did squeeze in just half of a lemon. Just squeeze the juice in definitely made it better add the lemon okay bye all right guys so it is 708 I'm gonna make my dinner smoothie because well I'm not even hungry I don't think I, I don't know if I've truly been hungry since I started this my camera's kind of low so you do what you gotta do um but I miss chewing like right now I would my favorite the thing I would like to have the most I mean, there's other things I'd like to have, but the thing I like to have the most is a salad with a ton of cucumbers and cheese. That would just be, not shredded cheese, like little chunks of cheese. Sounds delicious. So, I'm not actually hungry. I don't feel hungry, but I miss chewing. But, I'm going to go ahead and make a smoothie. I don't think I've been eating enough, but I just, you can only hold so much smoothie at once, and I really... I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy. Maybe I should be pushing myself to drink more, but then I also feel like maybe I need to only listen to my body and do what I need to do. So, I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and make our smoothie. I've been editing. I have to go back and finish editing after I get this made, but I figured I might as well go ahead and get it in. So, that's what we're going to do. I don't. It's a piece of cake. No. Yes, we know. I got my green. Got my green. Stuff looks so disgusting. Might be too much. It might make it bitter, but it is what it is. Lily, pick me a fruit out of the freezer. What? Pick me a thing of fruit. Antioxidant blend. The one I already had today, but it's not matter. They're all pretty much the same. Just little variations. That one has, I think that one has pomegranate in it, so it's a 
She's on, baby. My kids, Lily and Nolan, really like just eating. It's not as important as you did. Um, they just like eating froze fruit. So, that's my grapefruit. I'm doing it. And then on the, in this one, instead of water, because I don't want to fill it up with a ton of almond milk. Um, so I usually do almond milk, and then if it's not blending, I'll add water. But this time, I'm just going to go ahead and add some of this Minute Maid. Um, come on now. You see it. Focus. There we go. Um, some of this Minute Maid Zero Sugar Juice, the macros and all that jazz is really good on it. It has one carb, zero fat, zero protein, which is not as good. But, yeah, whatever. Um. This one smells a little bit more green. I'm kind of afraid of it. Nope, it's really good. Since I've started, they've only got better. Maybe one more day. I mean, it's only seven o'clock. I could still mess it up, but I'm refusing to believe in that negativity. That is good. So, I'm gonna go drink this and do some editing and then we will i don't know if we drink again tonight we will see you if not we'll see you tomorrow for day three i'm pretty excited i'm not gonna lie not lying pretty excited So it is day three. I got my coffee. We have made it. Well, we've not made it yet. We won't make it till tomorrow because that's nighttime is my biggest struggle. I'm fine during the day. I, I'm just I'm perfect. Okay, I'm not perfect, but I'm I'm good during the day. Nighttime, that's when the monsters come out. So we're gonna do it though. No doubt, we're gonna do it. No doubt. So I'm gonna drink this coffee. It's very hot, perfect, and we will catch you whenever we eat. Um, I do realize I should be doing three meals a day, so I should actually be doing three smoothies a day, but I'm not a three meal a day person. I am a two meal a day person plus about 18 snacks. So, um, I've cut out the snacks obviously because what's a snack smoothie, a sip? Um, the first day I did, I guess, have a snack smoothie because I had, like, the leftovers of the first one. But, yeah, that's one of the things that I'm hoping to take into day four and beyond with me is to quit snacking so much. Snacking is one of my main problems. It's, like, definitely number one. Number two, maybe, but probably definitely number one. Um, so, yeah, we're going to drink our coffee, and I will pick you up later at some point all right guys so time check it is 11 48 on day three Let's try again day three um i am gonna make a smoothie i think i'm just gonna do like a citrus smoothie of course i'm gonna add some spinach but i'm gonna put in this whole grapefruit instead of almond milk i'm gonna use some of the sugar-free pink lemonade that i've got and we're just gonna go with it um i'm trying to get in three smoothies today i should have been getting three in every day i hate that i didn't to be honest i feel like yesterday i eat or drank whatever even less than i did the first day and i don't i'm not a fan of that i'm not doing this to starve myself um obviously i would like to lose some weight doing it i mean duh but i know that it's just water weight it's more like a a jump start to get on track and refocus my body but with that being said i know i have to eat um and drink and all that so 
I'm gonna try to get three in today. I'm not energetic. Like I don't feel bad. I actually feel pretty good, but I just don't have energy. And I think that has a lot to do with, I'm cutting off my head, but I think that has a lot to do with the fact that I've not had as much as I should be having, but I'm just, I literally, I'm just not hungry. Um, and then when I have cravings of an evening, coffee just helps with that the most. The smoothie doesn't really cure the cravings. We are going to go ahead and put this grapefruit in there. I'm gonna cut it up a little bit more. Um, probably have to have some ice as well so because I like my smoothies to be cold cold and well there's not going to be anything frozen this one if this tastes good so so it's really just gonna be more like a juice I think so I got about a cup of ice and a half a cup of water put that in there and then we're gonna put about a half no about a cup of this sugar-free pink lemonade in there it's the same macros as the fruit punch pretty much five calories zero fat this has two carbs though and zero protein um i really like the fruit punch this is good i had to take a sip of it lily tried it and i don't know what she really thought she's kind of theatric first time she tries things so but it's good this will be more like a juice like i said oh i'm gonna put some spinach I'm almost out of spinach. I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of the spinach up. And we'll go out and get... I don't know what happened, but it scared me. Um, we will go out and get greens for the rest of them. I think I'm going to do a blueberry one next. So I just seen the blueberries. Is it raining? Better not be raining. Um, but we're going to get this blended up. And then I'll let you know. Okay, so. Since this is. I can't do nothing right. Um, since it is more like juice, I'm gonna put it in my big cup here so that it'll keep it cold. So I can sip on it. I'm gonna go out. If it's not raining, it looks like it might start raining. Um, I keep hearing stuff. I'm gonna go out and sit and relax and read for a bit, but it's pretty good. It's kind of tart, but that's fine. I don't care. Those grapefruits are some of the best ones that I have bought in a very long time. So, I figured it would make a good drink on its, in itself. So, And, of course, it won't fit. So, I should drink the rest. But, this little cup that I got at Walmart. Ew. Alright, so I want to finish this. can't do the phone anyways when I was saying this cup that I got at Walmart it is still dirty but it is one of my favorite cups ever it keeps ice forever I can put ice in it like of the evening and refill it and drink on it all night long and the next morning when I wake up it still has a little bit of ice in it so it'll probably have more you know if I just left it sitting but who does that so I already feel full all I've done today I had coffee this morning and now I had, I think, two cups of water. It's almost 12 o'clock. I've only drunk this little bit and I already feel full. Which is a huge deal for me because I am a volume eater. Like, I like to have huge portions of food at a time. So, I don't know. Um, I'm really hoping that I keep hearing stuff. Ghosts are having parties or something. But I'm really hoping that when this is over, I don't go back to the way that I was. I am really good at sticking with like three-day diets and stuff. I'm really good at it actually because I just know I'm the type of person that I'm all or nothing. But I can only do that for a certain period of time. Like if I know I have to do a smoothie, fast, cleanse, whatever for say a month, there's no way I would do it. I would not have lasted probably the whole day. Um, but just knowing that it's only three days... I can do it but when it comes to being off of this I'm like I have to just make healthier choices and then I just throw it all away I don't know I'm trying to work on the balance of it but anyways um, I'm gonna go drink this if I have room for it but thankfully the cup will let it last 
for a couple hours. I have to clean that off. Um, and I'm going to go read. I don't know if it's picking up the clouds, but it looks like it's going to rain and the wind's blowing. <sighs> but we're going to make the best of it. Um, I'm going to wash up this blender. Then we're going to go out and read. I will pick you back up. Whenever. Whenever I make another smoothie. So we just got home from running some errands. I ended up going and getting some more spinach, some green apples, and some cucumbers because we're growing some in the garden, but this is what we get so far in the garden, um, and we're not getting many. Like I think this is the third or fourth one, and there's a couple more out there, but I need a lot, especially tomorrow. I'm already planning my first meal. Me and Francis were talking about it earlier, so I need lots of cucumbers. Um, so I'm gonna eat a green apple, and then this peach has a couple bad spots in it. I wasn't gonna do like higher sugar carbs, fruits, whatever. Um, but those taste better. They do taste better. You are right, sis. But this one has a couple bad spots, so I'm just gonna cut the good off and put it in my smoothie. So we're gonna do cucumber, apple, peach, blueberry, and spinach. I don't know if I wanna use almond milk in this or if I'm just gonna use water. I might do a little bit of both. Come on. I like these. It smells like the cucumber. Oh, yes. She would have bought some like strawberry ones because those are my favorite. I wish you would have went into the store with me and then you could have got your own. I was going to just make a plain blueberry one. But then we ended up going to the store. I don't know why, but I like the way it's like it's small. They smell like a vegetable, but they the same. It does, not That's because they don't have as much sugar content in all these stuff. So. Oh. But I was going to do just a plain blueberry one. I have plenty of fruit that like that overbought. Why does blueberry and spinach seem like something that... It's like perfect snake. Yeah. More? Yeah. Um, but I expected to be starving during the three days. Mm. Not going to bed, so. myself earlier when I said that they keep getting better because <coughs> it's probably the worst I've made. It's me, I just have bad hair. <coughs> but better be me, better not be nobody here. But I wanna drink this. Me and the kiddos are gonna go in the pool for a while. I didn't do any other kind of workout today, so I'm gonna swim some laps. <coughs> it ain't it. I'm gonna drink it anyways. And then go swimming for them. Are you rubbing it in my face that you get to eat? No. Like literally no. chew your food. No, this tastes good. It's a good one. Okay, so. I look extra messy right now. Um, because the kids and I went swimming. I'm gonna make me another cup of coffee. I've been having two a day anyways, but I'm riding the struggle bus, so. I'm gonna drink some coffee. This is just some of the hazelnut. I'm gonna sip on this and try to get through. No, I'm not trying. I'm gonna get through making their dinner. Because like I said, I'm on the struggle bus. So, I'm gonna eat this, drink this. Wish I was eating something. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna drink this and then um, I will make my smoothie and then we'll be done for the night. So, yeah. Um, so, I wanna bring me some coffee really quick, get their food plated, 
because their food is done and I'm so afraid that I will be tempted. Well, not tempted because I already am. Um, but I'm afraid that I'll end up shoving food in my mouth. So, I'm going to make this coffee, get their food, and then we're going to make our smoothie. Because um, after they eat, I want to get them some ice cream. No. I want to get them some watermelon. And so I'm going to put some of the watermelon in a smoothie. Again, remember I said I was going to stay away from the high sugar fruits. I think that's loud. Um, whatever, right? I'm still doing it. It still counts. So I'm going to make a watermelon smoothie. I don't know what else I'm going to put in it. As my last smoothie. And yeah, so I will pick you back up when we go to make that. bunch of watermelon here it will flatten out because you know it's watermelon so i'm gonna put some of this in here i think we're not we're gonna just skip the greens all together in this one and just have a pretty non-ugly smoothie Now this is good. Definitely the best one. Best for last. I obviously really like my smoothies like juice. Mm. Alright. So, um, I will pick you up tomorrow and do like an overview final thoughts um i have been keeping up with my weight so i will throw that in here as well so with that as long as i make it without anything else to drink eat drink it's a smoothie whatever um it is 8 18 so i'm done for the night definitely will not mess it up now too late for that so we will see you in the morning most likely um and let you know how it went well final thoughts anyways you already know how it went all right guys and yeah that was my three days i am extremely proud of myself i've not been able to stick with anything um for a very long time like i was telling a couple of my friends i'm really i'm an all or nothing kind of person um but my giving it all kind of thing it has to have a deadline on it it has to have a timeline like during this three days, I was just like, it's only three days. When I start struggling, it's only three days. Um, and it really helped. So I do really good with short periods of time, but it's like when I have to th say, okay, I can't have um, Oreos for the rest of my life. That's never true, but you know what I'm saying? If I say I can't have something um, because it messes with my diet then it just you know the only thing that i want at that point is the oreos um but i am learning that it's not about completely cutting it out it's about grace and it's about trying to make the best decisions while welcoming not the best decisions um but yeah i am i'm proud of myself i didn't like when we first started i was just like it's three days how can i do this but then it got it was actually really easy um the main times that I struggled 
was when I was having to feed the family because I'm still a mom first, I'm still a wife, and I have to feed them. So that is when my biggest struggles came and I tried to know when those moments was gonna be here. Like last night, I made some coffee because last night was probably my weakest point in the entire time. I think it's just because I knew the end was coming. Um, I had went to the store and got stuff for what I want for my first meal, which I've still not had yet. It is 9.30, I'm not even hungry. Um, but I really want just the chicken salad with like extra cucumbers. Yes, so um, I'm really proud of myself. I don't know if I would have stayed strong in my weak moments if it wasn't for Francis doing this with me. Um, just having her at my beck and call at any moment and I was like, okay, I'm struggling and she'd be like, you know, we, we would talk it out and stuff. So, um, a couple of my other friends also did know and that helped, um, me and Marina have been talking every single day as well. And so I'm keeping her accountable. She's keeping me accountable and it just, it really, really helps to have somebody in your corner that supports you. Um, I've not had the support that I have right now and I think, well, a very long time. So, it definitely helps. I am definitely a, I'm an introvert and I like to be alone, but I'm also a community driven person. Um, especially that's the good thing I love about the internet and having internet friends is I have you right there, like right there at all times. But I also can just shut it down if I need to and not necessarily shut people out, but you know what I'm saying. We're, we're getting on a tangent and we're on the wrong conversations. Um, but yeah, I definitely could not have done it without my support. I'm very proud of myself. Now, I'm already thinking about the next time I'm going to do this because I felt great. I had energy the first and second day. The first day I was probably still running on my weekend treats. Plural. Um... And then Tuesday, I was still feeling great. Yesterday, I felt great. Like, I did not feel bad at all. But I was exhausted. Like, I didn't want to do nothing. Um, I was pretty lazy yesterday. I mean, I still got stuff done, but I didn't actually do an intentional workout other than swimming laps in the pool with the kids for 45 minutes. So, um, yeah, I will definitely do it again. 100%. I will be. Maybe once a month, I will try to do a three-day cleanse um we'll see probably not we'll see i did feel great doing it though um but like i was saying the next time i do it i am definitely going to do eating fruits and vegetables as well i think that i'll just do a fruit and vegetable cleanse next time i might record that see if the results are any different um yeah we might do that that might be an extra little push for me is at the end of july do one for three days with fruits and vegetables and see how it goes we may do that let me know down below if you'd like to see me do that um but yeah i feel pretty good the only thing that i really missed this entire time was chewing like literally chewing um and i did try to chew gum once because francis was talking about that she's been chewing gum it just it wasn't it i wanted something crunchy i wanted to bite into stuff and chew it up and swallow it so um yeah i'm definitely going to do it again like i said but next time i will um include fruits and vegetables that i can eat um as well so with that being said i guess it's time that we show you the weight loss um i didn't lose a ton i was i'm happy with what i did lose it puts me right on the edge of hitting the next 10. If it was always a thing for us when we was losing weight, you know, to move down to the next number, you know, like 140, 150, 160. I didn't know which direction I was going in. So, um, it was always a thing for us to be like, to message back and forth and be like, I'm in the 140s, I'm in the 130s. And, um, I am 0.3 away from going down to my next 10. So, I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to help me keep pushing. I am so proud that I done it. I'm a little bit worried though today because it's rainy and they're they're here. They're working on the basement. I don't know if you can hear any of that. Um, and so it'll probably only be half a day. And John knows I've been wanting Taco Bell. He tried to take me yesterday. We fought him off. Um, 
But yeah, I'm kind of afraid he's going to ask me to go today and Mama ain't going to be able to say no today. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I'm still on keto. I wasn't too keto when I was doing the smoothie, juice, fast cleanse thing. Um, but, you know, it's whatever. I still was taking care of myself and so it doesn't matter. There's not one way. There's not only one right way to do it. So, yeah. Um, I am back to low carb now. I am just doing lazy, dirty keto. Ex definitely until July 14th. So I have exactly two weeks left of doing the keto lifestyle and then we will reevaluate and see what we're going to do. So yeah, I'm going to do a video on the whole month of keto too and all the struggles and stuff like that. So yeah, I think that is going to be it for this video. I hope it's not too long. I tried to keep my little um, like smoothie bits kind of short, but we'll see. Um, don't forget to go over and check out Frances. I've been wanting to collab with her forever, but my little people pleasing mind just could not ask her to do it. Um, and so I was finally just like, so we was already doing it. I think it was Monday morning or might have been Sunday night. I was like, so do you want to collab? And she's like, I was already thinking that, but she didn't want to ask either. So I think Frances is the very first person I have ever asked to collab with me. Because I worry about people saying no or they don't love me like they say they do. So, um, with that being said, make sure you go over and check her out. You won't regret it. You will not. She's beautiful on the outside, definitely on the inside. And she's human, so she's not just all on here telling you her good and hiding her bad. So, that's my kind of people. I like it real. I like you to be happy and positive. But I need to know you're hurting too because, you know. Yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Until next time.